I want to first thank uh, Senator Murkowski for her terrific leadership uh, in, in dealing with this whole issue. Because this is an issue that Congress ought to deal with, not the administration. All of us want to make energy as clean as we can, as fast as we can. We want to do it without raising prices for American people. Right now, China continues to emit increasing numbers, and they will increase the, number, the amount of emissions all the way through 2050. So no matter what we do, it's going to weigh very little in ter terms of what is happening globally. The jobs are such a critical part of this. The, uh, the most recent job report came out, and there were about 400,000 new jobs, and that's about how many census takers were hired. So in terms of new jobs from private industry, the number was almost nothing. And that is not how you build an economy. We build an economy on the red, white, and blue jobs that have powered the country. I'm from Wyoming, a wonderful coal state. Coal is the most affordable, available, reliable, and secure source of energy that we have in this nation and in the world. China is building new coal-fired power plants, one a week. And they're not building them in the inner parts of the country where the coal mines are. They're building them now out by the coast so that the ships can bring the coal in there. And they're continuing to burn, and that's why the emissions continue to go up. This is a decision that I think has huge economic impacts for our nation, will handi uh, handicap us economically for years to come, and that's why I'm standing with Senator Murkowski and against what Lisa Jackson and the Environmental Protection Agency is proposing.